A woman after marriage becomes a wife. For nine long months she carries a new life. Islam legislates equality. My sisters and brothers, don't forget paradise lies at the feet of your mother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another episode of our series The Art of Divorce. I'm your host Fuad Muhammad. Um, in the last episode we talked about how at the, during the process of divorce or just before it happens that it's important to show mutual respect from both parties. And to continue in terms of the process we have with us today no other than our dear and respected Guest all the way from the United Kingdom, Sheikh Haytham Al Haddad. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As I mentioned we, in the last episode, we talked about mutual respect and how at the time of divorce it's important for both parties to respect each other and to respect the feelings of each other. Exactly. Okay, we, I want to go back and to the process of divorce. How does this process, which is laid down by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, really helps in terms of minimizing divorce and even in some cases avoiding divorce totally. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. We described the process and we said if a person wants to divorce his wife, the first point he should not take it as a punishment. He should take it as a decision. And we said that he should divorce his wife according to sunnah. Mm -hmm. According to Sunnah, means he should wait until she is free from her uh, menses, menstruation period, and he had no sexual relationship with her during her purity period. Yes. So if the husband waits until that point, most likely he would like to have intimacy with his wife, and more likely he will have maybe sexual intercourse with her. And subhanAllah, this issue of the sexual relationship between the husband and wife puts love between them. This is something from Allah Jalla There is one of the ahadith that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said when the husband has the sexual relationship with his wife and his water comes into her body, his water goes into all parts of her body until his water reaches the tips of her fingers so is as you can see that part of him has became part of her or part of her body became part of the husband's body or or chemistry and that's why the this sexual relationship is a very important aspect in order to maintain harmonious marriage and in order to divorce case and that's the divorce um, decision. And that's why we tell sisters, even if your husband, you felt that your husband wants to divorce you, and but he asked you to have relation with him, don't avoid that relationship. Mm -hmm. I know many sisters, they say, how can, if I know that my husband wants to divorce me, I, I cannot I cannot sleep with him. And from a Sharia perspective, we say that a woman is not allowed to stay or sleep away from her husband without his permission. Of course, we say that the husband should not have injustice against his wife and he should take care of her maybe physical and psychological needs when she is sick and when she is emotionally uh, unstable and something like this to the level that if he is if he is asking to fulfill his sexual needs by harming his wife then his wife may go to the court for this problem or because of this problem but we say generally speaking when the husband asks his wife to have the uh, relationship with him she should try her best to fulfill his needs because you don't know sister Maybe Allah Jalla wa'ala will put more love in your husband's heart. So this is something very important. Now, uh, as we said that the practice of so many sisters, if they feel that their husbands 
are planning to divorce them, that they keep away from them, and this accelerates the divorce. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let us say that the husband uh, was waiting for the period, the proper time for divorcing, and he was insisting on divorcing, and he divorced his wife. So, he was waiting for the uh, ministration period to come to an end, and then he waited for the purity period. He did not have any sexual relationship, and he divorced her at that point. Look at this wisdom. Mm-hmm. Allah Jalla wa Ala says, "Ya ayuha nabiyu, idha talaqtum nisa, afatliquhun la idatihin wa ahsul idda wa taqulha rabbakum. La tuxrijuhun min buyutihin wa la yaxrujna illa ayatina bifahishat mubayna." Now, if you divorce them, لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن. Don't expel them. Don't kick them out of their houses. Let them remain. ولا يخرجن. They should not leave. So a husband divorced his wife at that point. Yes. He did not have a sexual relationship with her during the purity. The purity period is normally three weeks. The uh, menses period is about five days. And the purity period is three weeks or more than three weeks. So he was waiting until the period comes to an end and the purity period starts. He divorced his wife to have a sunnah divorce. So after that, she is with him and she stayed there at his home. Now he hadn't have any sexual relationship with her for maybe six days, Mm -hmm. seven days, eight days, one week weeks three weeks and he sees her all of the time and let us just pinpoint the other issue that we mentioned before yes. that the wife should not hurt the feelings of her husband so the husband will say this is my wife she's halal for me i want to fulfill my sexual needs and she never hurt my feelings so why don't i reconcile with her Especially if she, if he see, if he sees good attitude from her side during the divorce. This is what I'm stressing, and that's why you are talking about art of divorce. During the divorce, خلاص, she is divorced. She should not look at him as if he is an evil person. And as we said, even some of the Sahaba said she should beautify herself, mm-hmm. and she should try her best. At that point, if the husband sees this attitude, most likely he will reconcile. Yes. Okay? Most likely he will come up, come to her and approach her and he might touch her. During the Idda period, we say that the wife is legally a wife and the husband is legally a husband. Means if the husband died, she will inherit him and the, if your wife died, he will inherit her. And that is very important because the in-laws, they have to put this into consideration. Because in many cases, the in-laws, they will say, oh, he divorced our daughter. Come on, leave him. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's an evil person. We will not allow you to stay with him. No, the in-laws should not interfere at that point because legally she is his wife. If she died, he is going to inherit her. Put that in mind. Mm -hmm. And this is, subhanAllah, part of the wisdom. So, if she stayed for some time with him, three, three months, three cycles, can you imagine a husband who had no relationship with his wife and she becomes pure and then she had her menses and then she becomes pure again and then she had her menses and then she becomes pure for the third time, okay, according to an opinion, or she becomes even uh, had her menses the third time, according to the other opinion, and he doesn't have any kind of intimacy with her, then for sure he came to the, from his perspective to the right conclusion. Mm-hmm. This is one thing. The other thing, look at this, subhanAllah al azim Islam, how he looks at this. Normally, uh, when women, they have their period, they become emotionally different. And then when they become pure, they are now more stable. Yes. Allah Jalla wa Ala wants to show the husband all different situations of his wife. So 
maybe I was angry from her and she was angry from me during her menses. Yes. And many women say that before the menstruation period, uh, I, I am becoming very emotional and very maybe uh, high temper. So the husband, the, the, the Allah Jalla wa ala wants the husband to see that, look, she is now in her purity and she is different. And then she became, okay, in her period and now she is acting like this. Then Allah Jalla wa ala will show him how she is behaving when she had the second purity period, mm -hmm. the third purity period. And that's why, لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهم. ولا يخرجنا. You should not take them out of their houses. They should not leave their houses. And the in-laws also should support them to stay together at that time. Yeah, but this, this brings out some very interesting point, as you mentioned. I was just thinking why you were saying this comment, is that the, sometimes people inside the situation can't really observe it and can't really comment on the situation. For example, we're doing a program here. Um, both of us might think that it is beneficial, but it's up to the viewers outside observing the program and looking at the program, or even they can give a more stable criticism of the program. Similarly, when a wife, husband is, okay, they were together all the time, and he comes out of her life, but he's, she's still his wife, as you mentioned, he comes out of her life, he's given an opportunity to observe. Exactly. This is the cooling period. Mm -hmm. But Allah Jalla wa gave this cooling period certain qualities. Mm -hmm. Okay, because here we have to be careful. The West, they suggested this cooling period, by the way. Mm -hmm. They also suggested this cooling period. But the cooling period is both husbands and wife to live away. And from experience, I, I don't know from statistics or from scientific surveys or uh, studies. From experience, the more the husband is away from his wife, and the longer he is away from his wife, the longer he will be away from her heart. And similarly, the longer the wife is away from her husband, mm -hmm. is the longer she is away from his heart, or he is away from her heart, especially after divorce. So if after the divorce, they left mm -hmm. and they went. And this is another point that I would like to mention. Okay, if you can keep this point, very interesting topic. But if you can keep this point, just after we take a break here on the art of divorce, and we'll be back right after this. Don't forget paradise lies at the feet of your mother. Love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for those who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, for those who want to enter the Jannah, the paradise that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for the believers. And that's why we need to learn and we need to get to know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us so that we submit ourselves to the orders of Allah. And this is knowledge that we need to learn. That's why we're spending more time to look into the verses and to the meanings of the verses in depth so that we can get to learn from it what we need ourselves to be steadfast, to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to ponder over the meanings of the miraculous words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't forget paradise lies at the feet of your mother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. You're watching The Art of Divorce. We're still talking to Sheikh Haytham al Haddad. Um, we were just mentioning how the, the, the process helps to minimize and even in some cases avoid the divorce. You said you want to mention a very important point. Yeah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. We were mentioning a very important point that during the Idda period, mm -hmm. the husband and wife, they should stay together. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of one of another wisdom, yeah, one of the wisdoms. Um, see, after the divorce, normally the, there is tension between husband and wife. Most likely there is tension between the family of the husband and the family of the wife. Imagine if after the divorce, the wife went to her parents and to her maybe sisters and to her brothers. And the husband 
went to his mother or stayed at home, but he will spend more time with his mother, with mm -hmm. his father, with his family. Yeah? Yes. What will happen? The, the, the feeling between them wouldn't change. There was No. The wife will be staying with her and her sisters will <laughs> be speaking to her. Yes. This guy, you such, you are a good woman and he divorced you. Mm -hmm. He doesn't deserve you. If I were you, I will not go back to him. If I were you, I could have divorced him a long time ago. The mother normally, mm -hmm. uh, and this is not to speak negatively about the mother, but we are um, the mothers. But yes. <laughs> this is the reality. Mm -hmm. And we need to speak about realities in order to avoid the problems. Yeah. The mothers at that time, they would say, such an evil person, such an evil person. He doesn't deserve you. And you remember when we compromised a lot in order for us to accept his proposal and we gave him this and we gave him that and you were helping him and you even you were working and you were giving him from mon your money you should claim your money you should do this and you should do that they will not try to push her to reconcile with him because now the emotions are taking over same thing with the the parents of the husband they will say you see don't worry about her you divorced her you can get married to maybe four other women. And then his mother will tell him, listen, I know so and so, she was looking for a good person like you. You were looking, you want to get married to another one, I can get you, you know, our neighbors, our relatives, other people, they can get married to you easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so don't worry. Why are you sad, subhanAllah? You are sad because of a woman? You divorce a woman and you became sad? Oh, yeah. shame on you they will start speaking to him like this. Mm -hmm. They will not try to help him to reconcile. But if they stay together and the wife is taking care of him again, she's cooking for him, taking care of him, and he is providing money, etc. So most likely they will maintain the house. Yeah, maintain the house because they are living under one roof. So they have to fulfill the rights of that house. Yeah, this is if they are acting in an Islamic way. Most likely they will find the children. If they have children, the children, mom, let us go with dad. Dad, let us go with mom. No, no, my son, I divorced your mom. Okay, let us go together. And they see, they might see their children feeling sorry mm -hmm. and sad because mom and dad divorced or mom and dad now separated. And now the family, the whole family cannot go together. Okay, for family trips or whatever. So when they see this and they are thinking, okay, in a, a, a reasonable way, most likely they will go back to each other. And we had so many cases like this. And this is the one of the wisdoms by having this uh, idda period. Okay, just, just before you continue mentioning the point, I just want to bring back, because of some cases and some reality, as you said, we, we don't want to get away from the reality. Is, um, first of all, the Idda period, is it a must between the two spouses? And when is it advised not to do the Idda period? Yeah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The Idda period is must. لا تخرجوهن من بيوتين ولا يخرجن. It is a must. Okay. There is. And that's why many scholars say that it is sin upon the husband to force his wife to leave the house. It is sin on the wife to leave the husband's house without his permission even if he allowed her he should not allow he should not wish that she leaves him okay at that time yes she might go and maybe stay overnight with her family etc as normal but they should continue as normal لا تخرجون من بيوتهن ولا يخرج except if she committed as Allah جل وعلا said فاحشة mm -hmm. if she committed a sin we are not talking about this okay and um, in, in regards to the you said it's a must. What about the communication? Should it be very normal as well? The should they should act as normal husband and wife, although there's a tension? How, yes. do, how do they balance it out? The, this is the point. This is what we are aiming. Mm -hmm. This is what we are aiming. And that's why we said from the beginning, they should not have ill feelings towards each other. Mm -hmm. That is the key point. I know that is not the reality, but we are trying to fix a problem. And in order to fix a problem, you have to deal with the reality and provide solutions for uh, those uh, realities. Okay, and, and, and the, the period, I mean, some people might be looking at the program and say, 
But Shaykh, um, after the Idda period, even if they come together in the Idda period, they still have that feeling that once they were divorced. Is it fruitful to continue that marriage? And the Idda period, what is the wisdom? If you understand my point is that after the Idda period, and for example, they reconcile during the first Idda period, um, which is the period of, of, of coolness, as we said, cooling, each other cooling down and the, the, the time where the husband observes the wife and vice versa. But the marriage, the second marriage, or the reconciliation would happen after a divorce has happened. Would that not have an, an effect towards the rest of their lives? That's why we said, remember the point that we stressed on it a lot. And we said, even if you are planning the divorce, mm -hmm. have it on a goodwill. Yes. Don't have these ill effects between both of you because لا تدري لعل الله يحدث بعد ذلك أمره. You don't know. Maybe Allah Jalla wa ala will introduce something, will create something. Maybe Allah Jalla wa ala will put love between both of you. And <clears throat> to be honest with you, in some cases we had uh, some couples who been divorced and now after the first divorce they live a better life than before divorce. And this is <clears throat> one of the points that I was planning to mention but I don't think that uh, it, we have time in this series to mention is that both husbands and wives, both hu hu husband and wife, mm -hmm. uh, when the husband decides to divorce his wife or the wife, he wants to see khula or she is accepting the divorce. Please, please, brothers and sisters, think of the future. Means, the husband, he should think, okay, I will divorce this wife. I will get married to another wife. Mm -hmm. Will the other wife be better than this wife or not? Okay? Please, let us think about this. Because many people think that the whole world is better than his wife. And his wife is the worst. This is a very bad feeling. And this is from the shaitan. I do remember I read uh, a statement by Ali Tantawi. He's a very famous scholar died recently, a few uh, years back. And he said the shaitan comes to the person. And he tells him, see, all these... Uh, if, yeah, he said, if a person is married to all women in the world except one woman, mm -hmm. yeah, the shaitan will come to him and he will say to him, you know, all these women and this single woman, she has something different from all these women in order for the shaitan to influence him to look at this woman. Despite the fact he is what? He had all the women, all the women of the world. See? Mm -hmm. So the shaitan will come to the person at that time and will tell him, okay, I'll get married to another woman. Is better, definitely better. Then here I will tell the husband, who told you? Who told you? Your wife, before marriage, mm -hmm. you were eager to get married to her. Yes. And maybe I am sure, try to remember, try to recall your memory. I am sure you have told your friend, Wallahi, my, my mother, for example, or I found a very good wife. And she, mashallah, she is good in her religion. And even they, she's, they say that she is pretty and mm -hmm. really she is a very good wife. And all of a sudden now she became the most ugly wife, the very evil person. No. So same thing that you have said about your wife, you will say about what? <coughs> Another woman. Yes. So they are all the same. So instead of divorcing your wife and going through another experience, it might be successful, it might be failing, mm -hmm. then stick to your wife. Yes. Stick to your wife. Okay, if, 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 if there's a hadith, if you can clarify it as well. When the Prophet said that if, وسلم, if you see that woman outside, rush to your wives because they're the same. Exactly. And this is one of the hadith. In fact, the Prophet وسلم, one time, mm -hmm. he was about to start the salah and then he said to the Sahaba, okay, uh, just hold on the salah. And he had a relation with one of his wives and he said that I saw a woman, then I was afraid that something will come to my heart, so I approached my wife. 
So if you find this, then go to your wife in order to fulfill your needs. Now, this doesn't mean that the Prophet ﷺ doesn't say that all of them are the same, but the needs that you might expect from this woman, you will find it with your wife. Mm-hmm. So fulfill it in a halal way rather than fulfilling it in a haram way or thinking that this wife might have something different. Yes. That is the point, and this is a good point, Jazakallah khair. Mm-hmm. But I would like, I was about to mention another hadith, very important. The mm-hmm. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the mar'a, the woman, was created from a crooked rib. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Crooked rib, or uh, penned rib. rib. Yes. If you would like to make that rib straight, you will break it. Mm-hmm. And if you just leave it like this, istamta'ta biha ala iwaj, means you will enjoy uh, with her while she is uh, pent. Okay? So what does that mean? It means try slowly, slowly. Now, this hadith is telling us al-mar'atu. Yani means all women. So don't think that your wife is an odd to other women. And she is very ugly, she is very evil. Mm-hmm. La. Don't think that is a wrong perception, a very wrong perception. Moreover, the other hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, لا يفرق مؤمن مؤمنة. A man should not hate completely a mu'mina. His wife is still a mu'mina, a Muslim sister for him. إن كره منها شيئا, if he hates something from her, رضي منها آخر إن كره منها خلقا رضي منها آخر If he hates something for sure there is another thing that he can be pleased with Yes, okay I think that's a very good point to end our episode to do it the time is running out very quickly on these episodes mashallah but we'd like to say Jazakallah khair for being with us today Sheikh Haytham and to all the viewers who you would like to continue to read some of the articles of Sheikh Haytham or ask him any questions on the episodes you can visit his website www.islam21c.com Until next time, we leave you with Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Woman's status in Islam We should never, never neglect They are favored and deserve their respect they can pray at the mosque or even at home they may marry or divorce it's a choice of their own a woman after marriage becomes a wife for nine long months she carries a new life Islam legislates equality, my sisters and brothers. Don't forget paradise lies at the feet of your mothers. Righteous women can lead a happily married life. The best men are those who are best to their wives.